if there's an evolution to this Argentina team, it seems to me that, as Jules was saying, after winning the World Cup, or maybe even before that, maybe since Scaloni arrived, because we saw that in the game against Uruguay as well. Yeah. When things get nasty in the past, we've been used to Argentina kind of losing their heads a little bit. Now, it's like they may they, may, they lose their, their, their heads once they're defeated. But until, while they're still in it, they stay in control and they maintain mm. a lot more discipline than, than they would have in the past. Is that accurate? Yes, it's accurate. They know their quality. They know they know that they are very good. They know that nowadays they're world champions. Everything began at Copa America uh, in Brazil when they won Copa America, the first trophy won by, by Lionel Messi. At that time, I worked in, in this tournament specifically. I worked for ESPN Argentina because, because of the COVID, Argentina, ESPN Argentina couldn't send a reporter for Brazil. So I worked the whole tournament for ESPN Argentina, covering Argentina. And I was in every match, every training that we could have access, talking to the players, talking to the, 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 the press, the Argentinian press, to the manager. And I, I really saw at that tournament the turnaround for Argentina. There, they began to have a real good team. This is the difference now. Uh, they have a team. They, the players know what they have to do on the field. If you chain the right back, if you don't play Molina, if you play the left back with Talia Fico or Marcos Acuna, if you play Macalister or Angel Di Maria uh, uh, on the left, they know what they have to do. They know their quality. They have a good coach. They have a leader in Lionel Messi. So they they don't need anymore to appeal for the violence. If, if they're losing, if the other team is too aggressive, they know to play football. They know what they have to do. And they have a very good team. Everything that Brazil doesn't have now. We have the talent, but we don't have a team. Argentina has the talent and also has a very good team. But it, it is a good point because this brings us to Scaloni and the job he's done. And at the beginning when the streak started and they're doing well, I thought, okay, it's inertia. But now, I, Jules, I'm kind of rethinking this. Because, you know what? Otamendi scored a great goal, a good leader, whatever. Good first half of the season with Benfica last year. But it's still freaking Otamendi. Yeah. Lo Celso, who you see, right? Who can't get on the pitch at, at Tottenham. Yeah. Even when even when they need him because Madison is out, yeah. right? These are the players, right? Messi with the whole world of things that he forces you to do because he's older when, when he's not, when you're not in possession. You know, I, you mentioned it there, uh, Acuna, Talia Fico. I mean, nobody's going to write home about these guys, no, no, right? No, for sure. So this is not, I think... A super talented team when the moment when the most talented except for the forwards if i was to ask you who is the best player in argentina who's not a forward you would probably say what mcallister enzo, enzo yeah. right something like that right romero yeah. when he's not getting sent off yeah yeah but i mean we're not talking top 10 players no. in the world in any of these but, but to be fair that, that, that like gustavo explained i think they just needed the team and the structure more than more talent than the greatest player of all time anyway they wish they already have and not for long, because there will be a point, a little bit of what we saw on Tuesday night, where he won't be able to do any more at that kind of level. For now, he's still fine, of course. But, and I think that's Kaloni's one. And to be fair, I, I went to sleep. I didn't wait for post-match press conferences or interviews and things like that. So I discovered Scaloni's comments after the game when I woke up the next day on Wednesday. And for him to say, yeah, I need to have a think now. You know, this team needs a manager with a head coach with a lot of energy. You know, we've played a lot. We've set the bar so high. And maybe he's tired now. And maybe also he knows that after we winning the Copa America, the finalissima in a way, and the World Cup. No, but it's, there's, three, there's still three, you know, three titles. It can't, it can't, do, it can't do better. Okay, so Gustavo, I'm going to throw this to you now. So we don't know what decision Scaloni, I think, there's also suggestions is... I think his father has not has yeah. not been very well. He's obviously in he's allowed to make whatever decision he thinks is best for him. He's earned the right, family. yeah. He's, he's earned the right. There's no question there. I do wonder do, do these people not talk to me about talk to each other? If I'm Marcelo Gajardo, I, right? I was thinking exactly I the same. same thing. Like you can't wait another week before you say <laughs> yes to Saudi and see if there's an opportunity there. 100%. At least just a little bit, no? <laughs> yeah, for sure. <laughs> uh, you can change your mind. <laughs> no, it would be the best possible fit ever to, to replace Lionel Scaloni. But I don't know. I, I, I'm not sure. I think that 
Yes, and, uh, Scaloni is, is tired, the match was tough, the pressure and everything that happened. I think that this, this whole environment, uh, maybe uh, uh, it was too heavy for him this, that night. I'm not sure. I'm not sure if he's going to leave. I, I, yeah. nowadays, now, today, I, I don't think that he's going to leave. Maybe not until the next Copa America. We have uh, uh, just a few months for the Copa America. We have two, two more friendlies in March, then friendlies and the Copa America. So the time is short also. I, don't, I, I really don't yeah. think that he's going to leave now. Everybody was shocked by what he said in Argentina. Everybody was shocked because nobody ever said that ah, maybe Scaloni will leave. Scaloni thinking that He's gonna leave because we also have many many reports inside the team. So this kind of news that uh, people know before, yeah, uh, yeah. Ah, maybe uh, maybe right. Scaloni thinking about to leave, but no, it was really shocking for everybody what he said. Yeah, I gotta I gotta say this. Hopefully, it's all right. Football in South America is physically and mentally yeah. exhausting. I've covered yeah. the Copa America. Uh, we've obviously been in the World Cup. There, there's nothing. It's nothing like this in Europe. In Europe, it's it's a dawdle, frankly. Yeah. Um, He's got four months off now before the next game in March. It's summer in South America. I don't know where he goes, if he goes to, to, to La Plata. He lives or... here. He lives here in Spain. He lives in Mallorca. To get out of... Well, Mallorca is okay. So but it's still, the winter for him. I know, I know. <laughs> but go enjoy some summer, man, Lionel. You earned it. <laughs>